I'm here at the Illinois Emergency Management Conference in Springfield, Illinois, sharing 9-11 experiences with emergency managers and emergency responders from across Illinois. My name is Jim Schwartz and I'm the fire chief in Arlington County. I was the incident commander at the 9-11 attack on the Pentagon in 2001. This morning I've shared some of the experiences with these folks that the large-scale response at the Pentagon required. It required an enormous amount of coordination, a lot of collaboration that came as the result of a lot of relationship building prior to the event. As we approach the eighth anniversary of 9-11, it's important for people to understand that we now have to work collectively throughout various governments, federal, state, local governments, and the private sector, building capabilities in our communities, building capabilities that can respond to all kinds of emergencies, some imagined, some unimagined. It's important that we start to look outside our own boundaries of our professions, whether they be fire, law enforcement, emergency management, and start to think about how we come together to build an integrated response system, how we include our communities in the discussion about what the response system looks like and what we'll need from them in the middle of a crisis. Working with our communities, working with the, uh, the, the citizens in our communities in that way will undoubtedly spur them on to feeling like they are a part of the system. And I believe that in this National Month of Preparedness, it's the right message to send to get people to better prepare themselves and their families so as not to increase the impact that they may have on government who will have too few resources to be able to respond to everybody. The conversation, the opportunity for the shared learning that's going on here today at the Illinois Emergency Management Conference is phenomenal. There's almost a thousand people here from all walks of life, different disciplines, sharing ideas, exchanging information, and building a better response system that I know they'll be taking back to their communities and will be using to contribute to the overall Homeland Security enterprise. In addition to developing trusted relationships with our response partners and our community, it's important that we focus on the interdependencies, the way that we share information and share resources, the idea that we cannot work alone. It's also important that we actively engage our public and make them a part of our preparedness efforts and get them to understand exactly what it is that we're doing to protect them. We need to focus on how we protect responders, how we prepare them for the very difficult work that, they, that we ask them to do, not just in the middle of a crisis, but every day and how that impacts them almost in a, in a collective way, in a building way. It's important that we take the lessons learned from responses and analyze them very carefully and take those lessons and to connect them back to the processes and procedures that we're using to build a better response system. It's also vitally important that we honor the success of responders. On the morning of 9-11 at the Pentagon, the real heroes were the occupants of the Pentagon itself, the military and civilian occupants that did more to save lives in that horrific event than any collection of first responders were able to do. Their efforts should be recognized. I'm very proud that in Arlington County, we celebrated with them those successes while we remembered those that were lost on that fateful day.